You're on a New Jersey hilltop in the spring of 1965, walking toward a white painted horn antenna that looks like a giant megaphone pointed at empty sky. Inside its control shack, two microwave engineers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, have spent months chasing down every conceivable source of noise in their receiver chain. They have traded waveguides, cooled amplifiers with liquid helium, wrapped the feed horn in aluminum foil to block ground radiation, even scrubbed pigeon droppings from the mouth of the horn because the droppings, warmed by the sun, might radiate at centimeter wavelengths. Yet every time they turn the system on, regardless of season, hour, pointing direction, or weather, they read an extra 4.1 Kelvin of antenna temperature. After accounting for the Milky Way and the instrument itself, that stubborn excess works out to about 3 Kelvin, 3 degrees above absolute zero, coming uniformly from every patch of sky they try. They do not know it yet, but they have tuned in to the oldest light any human has ever captured, photons released 380,000 years after the Big Bang, now stretched by cosmic expansion into microwaves that fill the universe with an almost perfectly uniform glow. The discovery will earn them the 1978 Nobel Prize and will slam the door on steady-state cosmology. It will also seed half a century of increasingly precise space missions, each mapping that glow with finer resolution and revealing the fingerprints of cosmic inflation, dark matter and dark energy imprinted on its tiny temperature wrinkles, 